in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. And it's been the ruin of many a poor boy. In God, I know I'm one. Therapy. Well, let's see, I've tried oral therapy, inhale therapy, IV therapy, and even studies. And I was always afraid to try Sub-Q because of what everyone else said, instead of just trying it for myself. I even psyched myself out by, you know, trying to get mentally prepared for all this pain that I heard about, and I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, it was very, very painful the first 10 days to start the site, but then after that, you learn how much you can actually overcome and the site goes to sleep so now you know my site well it's kind of dirty from all the tape and stuff but my site is sound asleep doesn't hurt um i am titrating so as i titrate up it still does you know give me some of that irritation but look i can touch it my clothes isn't hurting it my pump is down here just like a little cell phone and it's completely out of sight out of mind um, when I compare it to the Ivy, I think about how it was always way up here. And every time I looked at myself, I was looking at my IV. So it was very much something that was hard to overcome. Plus it was so freaking huge. We should have be getting like satellite reception on that thing. So I'm very grateful for sub Q. I'm happy on it. I've been able to do a lot more. I encourage you to try it for yourself. At least try it. If you don't like it, if it hurts, if it's too much, I'm sure your, your doctor would let you go back to what you were on before. But don't be afraid of trying these new therapies because you never know what's on the other side. A month ago, I couldn't even come outside. And now I'm planning my second barbecue here at my house for the month. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you have a happy, joyous day and make some great decisions that are gonna benefit your future and your health. Bye.